My name is Jeffrey Hale. I'm a professor of political science at the University of Lethbridge in southern Alberta, Canada. I've been asked to answer the question, why do borders matter in the study of your field? And I'm coordinating both the Alberta Regional Study and the market flows or market movements and human movements segment of the research. The reality of borders is that they take on different forms depending on the people and the purpose uh, involved, whether for business or for travel. And because it's easy to take a one-size-fits-all approach to different areas of activity, part of what we're trying to do in this side of the project is to break down that kind of thinking so that we have a better understanding of the cross-cutting factors uh, given the uh, the organization, uh, the economic organization of the country, where businesses are located, uh, where the regional concentrations of economic activity are, who they do business with inside countries and outside borders, and how these interact with the very different ways in which governments are organized in Canada, the United States, and other countries in order to deliver the public policies that affect how people do business, how people travel, and how other publicly valued purposes like public safety, food safety, environmental protection are built into uh, economic activity. One of the biggest challenges that we face is tr trying to determine how people navigate the uncertainties uh, that are affecting cross-border trade and travel. Uh, given developments in other countries, uh, the uncertainties as to how these developments will interact, not just with domestic policies, but how we deal with other countries, third countries, and uh, how to build in contingencies, how to build in alternatives so that people can respond faster than the speed of government. This is one of those areas where you never stop learning partly because everything you think you knew is in the process of changing, uh, but at the same time, different groups interact with one another in ways that you haven't anticipated. And so you have to figure out how different parts of different systems interact with one another, uh, because uh, most, very few of us have the luxury of living on islands of our own making. We have to deal with other people who in their own interests have to work out how they function in the world and so there's a process of mutual accommodation for all except perhaps the biggest of us uh, that that most people and most businesses have to go through. Mm -hmm.